Students bullied and threatened at school, even told they will end up on the sex offender list. Families tell two investigators it's happening at Naperville North High School, and the people making the threats are administrators and police resource officers. Dave Savini starts with one boy's tragic story. Corey, honestly, it looks really good. Nine months after Corey Walgren did this cancer fundraiser, he committed suicide. I know he was in a panic. I know he thought his whole life was over. Maureen Walgren says her son killed himself, jumping off this parking garage after being interrogated by a Naperville North High School resource officer and dean. When you see like a police officer there with his badge and gun, first thing you think is like you're going to get handcuffed and go to jail. This teen, whose well, name we are not no using, says he was down. interrogated too, three months before Walgren's death. They put the officer in the room to scare kids. Both were questioned about what they supposedly had on their phones. He basically told me that you're going to be like a registered sex offender. You're going to be kicked off all the sports teams. His phone was clean, nothing illegal. Corey Walgren was accused of having video from a consensual sex act. His mom explains what school officials said. He can be charged as a sex offender and have to register as a sex offender. Excuse me, Officer Hoyne. I'm Dave Savini from Channel 2. Both families say Naperville Police Officer Brett Hoyne made the threats and interrogated the minors without their parents present. Why do they have him in a room with the police officer? Why have they already questioned him? Why, have, why am I not there with him? You weren't read your rights and your parents weren't called. Nope. I've gotten numerous complaints from parents who say you're violating the rights of civil rights of students. Do you have anything to say about that? No, I have no comment on that. Michelle Mbeckiani Wiley is a Shriver Center attorney and expert on school resource officers. Students have civil rights. Your rights are not diminished as soon as you step foot in school grounds. She says Illinois fails to require school districts and police departments to have specific rules on how the officer should operate in schools. If it doesn't warrant a 911 call, then they should not be involved. 21 other states do require that type of agreement. Naperville's police and school district have a different kind, but Mbeckiani Wiley says it lacks critical details, such as when a police officer should get involved and how the school protects a student's civil rights. Soon after the, the funeral, they put it up. Their son's jersey number now hangs above the rink he loved to play on. They say the school and police literally scared him to death. The hardest part was just, just that we miss him living without him. Naperville police cleared Officer Hoyne for any wrongdoing in Walgren's case. A Naperville city attorney says Hoyne does not recall being involved in the other teen's case. A school district statement does not discuss, discuss specifics, but says resource officers support administrators with investigations into student and staff safety, as well as issues that could impact the school environment. The Walgrens have an ongoing lawsuit against all including Officer Hoyne, and the Algrens say he had no supervision when he was put in a room after being questioned, and that's when he walked out and took his own life. All right, keep us updated. Thanks, Dave.